In 1981, a Houston resident named Ziggy Isaacson acted on his knowledge that someday everyone who had survived the Holocaust, like himself, would pass away. Without action, their memories and voices would be gone. Ziggy rallied Houston area survivors and told community leaders about his idea to create a Holocaust Education Center and Memorial. By 1990, the idea had gained significant support and it had been decided that a museum that would tell the story of the Holocaust, remember those who had died, and honor the survivors should be built. The chosen site was in the heart of Houston's Museum District, one of the city's cultural epicenters, so that it would be accessible to the entire community. And in 1996, Holocaust Museum Houston opened its doors. Our objective at Holocaust Museum Houston is to educate people about the Holocaust and other genocides and to empower them to stand up for what is right. To achieve this, we follow a well-defined strategic plan with three initiatives, ensuring financial stability, increasing our visibility, and evaluating our success. Financial stability and increased visibility largely go hand in hand as we continue spreading the relevance of our message through Houston's diverse community, we will garner greater support. As we put in place even more rigorous and meaningful evaluation metrics, we will have the means to continue improving the quality of our programs. Houston is changing. A Kinder Institute study has identified several issues that must be addressed for Houston to build a positive, healthy future. Holocaust Museum Houston is poised to take an essential role in making that future a reality. The museum addresses inequalities of access to higher education by focusing on middle and high school TEAK standards and providing educators with essential learning techniques. As a cultural center, Holocaust Museum Houston improves Houston's quality of life, which is essential to attracting talent to our city. And finally, as a place that teaches respect for all people, the museum is a natural leader in bringing together the entire Houston community as it becomes increasingly diverse. We are a history museum, but that doesn't mean we are stuck in the past. We understand that people learn in different ways and that the lessons of the Holocaust and similar histories carry varying weight to different people. That's why we have a variety of high quality programs from lectures and films to art and artifact exhibitions. Several times a year, we change what is displayed so there is always something new to see and learn. And students can now use the latest technology to expand their horizons through our iPad-based curriculum trunk program. The highlight of being a history museum, though, is the individual stories we are able to share. In conveying their powerful messages of respect and bravery in the face of injustice, these stories inspire our community to positive change. Success is far more than a measure of simply how many lives we touch, but rather how we are changing hearts and minds. We take extra effort to ensure all programs directly address our mission and our community's needs. Our Standing Evaluation Committee works continually to ensure that our programs improve understanding of the Holocaust among students and adults, helps decrease social cruelty in schools, and empower people to take a stand against injustice. It is exciting and gratifying to see how we are creating a more respectful society, one person at a time. Despite our name, Holocaust Museum Houston doesn't just educate about the Holocaust. Not only do we teach about other genocides as well, but we use the lessons from these tragic events to teach a message of mutual respect and upstander behavior that is relevant to all people and communities. Similarly, we are more than just a resource for Houston's thriving Jewish community. Our programs are designed for a wide variety of audiences. Students from middle school through college, as well as adults of all backgrounds, benefit from our many offerings.
In 2012, Holocaust Museum Houston was accredited by the American Alliance of Museums, a distinction earned by only 6% of museums in the nation and three other museums in Houston. Accreditation is an outward expression to funders, outside agencies, and museum-going public of what we already knew, that every facet of Holocaust Museum Houston, from educational outreach and exhibitions, to collections and financial procedures, are in compliance with best practices, and that gifts to the museum are a worthy investment. A Holocaust survivor and one of our closest supporters calls Holocaust Museum Houston the House of Love because it was built on the powerful stories of Houston area Holocaust survivors as well as their beloved family members who did not survive. This creates a strong platform for sharing our message with the community. Promoting our inclusive and hopeful message of mutual respect and understanding is a challenge we will continue to face as we balance a dark history with the hope and humanity we have learned from our survivors. With expanded resources, we would continue to grow our iPad-based Holocaust and Genocide curriculum, bringing technology into the classroom to maintain up-to-date, interactive resources for students. We would continue to digitize our 300 oral testimonies of Houston area Holocaust survivors and witnesses, as well as items in our collection. We would update the permanent exhibition with new understandings in the field and strengthen its applicability for modern audiences. In addition, we would pursue more collaborative partnerships to expand our services and better serve Houston. With all that we've accomplished, we continue to set our sights higher. Through sustainable growth, Holocaust Museum Houston will continue to address community needs, including multilingual programming, increased access to museum resources online, a broader range of curricula for various learning groups, and filling the role of a collaborative leader among the diverse cultural groups and organizations in our great city.